Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, if you couldn't tell by the title of the video, um, we're going to have a little bit of a of a rant here. Um, I have some opinions that I, I just can't keep quiet about, and I haven't really done a rant video in a while, and this this might not exactly be the rant that you guys might be thinking it's going to be, but, uh, so, Grand Central 7 got an update today, um, update 1.09, so let's take a look at that first. So the update, uh, Daytona International Speedway fixed an issue wherein swerving suddenly on entry to the pit road on a tri-oval and road course would cause the pit stop sequence to be skipped and the car to move straight to the exit. Sport and Lobby fixed a very rare issue where an application error would occur in an online race or lobby upon entry to the race event. My page fixed an issue wherein the values for clean races, fast laps, pole positions, and victory statistics shown under the sport category in the profile section would not display correctly. Fixed an issue wherein the value of the races statistic shown under the sport category in the profile section was displayed as double the correct amount. Others. Fixed a rare issue wherein the game progression would reset if the game was started with an unstable network connection. Thank you for your continued support, and please continue to enjoy Gran Turismo 7. So that's the update. <clears throat> now, let's take a look at this, because th this is another um, post from Kaz, president of Polyphony Digital and the creator of Gran Turismo. Okay, Dear Gran Turismo community, Thank you for your continued support and feedback on Gran Turismo 7. Your voices have not gone unheard. I would like to apologize for the frustration and confusion caused last week with our patch updates, which resulted in not only a server outage, but also adjustments to the in-game economy, which were made without a clear explanation to our community. We know that this is not the Gran Turismo experience you expect, and we will be making a goodwill gesture in the form of a non-paid credit pack of 1 million credits available to those players who may have been affected. You'll see this hit your account shortly. Make sure you log into the game before April 25th to claim the credits. The patch update previously deployed was intended to rectify an issue with inconsistent reward payouts within a part of the World Circuit events, but to reestablish the intended equilibrium and provide more accurate rewards based on the time, investment, and completion, it was necessary, it was necessary to recalculate the reward system as a whole. To improve the player experience, we will be rolling out a considerable patch in the beginning of April. The number of the events will be increased, and we will reestablish the reward system with greater balance throughout the game to benefit all players. Greater reward system. They're going to be increasing the credit amounts. Updates which will come into effect beginning of April. Increase rewards in the events in the latter half of the world circuits by approximately 100% on average. Addition of high rewards for clearing the circuit experience and all gold and bronze results. Increase of rewards in online races. Include a total of eight new one-hour endurance race events to missions. These will also have higher reward settings. Endurance races, awesome. Increase the upper limit of non-paid credits in player wallets from 20 million credits to 100 million credits. Increase the quantity of used and legend cars on offer at any given time. Be honest, there will be a few additional patches deployed between now and the end of April, which will add new cars and course layouts and make some other fixes. Finally, we also want to take the opportunity to lay out some of the near-term updates we're working on. We can't confirm an exact date or specifics yet, but we'll give advance notice via GranTurismo.com. Increase the payout value of limited time rewards as we develop as a live service. Further World Circuit event additions. Addition of endurance races to missions including 24-hour races. Addition of online time trials and awarding of rewards according to the player's difference with the top-ranked time. Make it so cars can be sold. We want to thank you for your continued patience and valuable feedback as we grow and evolve GT7 to make it as enjoyable and rewarding for as many players as possible. We always want to keep communication lines open with our community so that we can work together to build the best racing experience possible. Okay, so... Let's uh, let's just dissect this, okay? So they heard us. They listened to the complaints, okay? And they're going to fix it, all right? You can, you can go into the game right now, and you can claim your 1 million credits. I did. I will show you that in a second, okay? So they rectified that, and they gave us 1 million credits. I think that's a nice gesture. Granted, it would have been great for them to do that 
back when the, the game went back online. I think it would have been better to do it then. But you know what? The fact that they did, I think that's great. I'm, I'm not mad at that. Okay? So, basically what they're saying is that they're going to rectify what they did. They're going to make the payouts better. You know, they're, they're going to give us more races. They're going to give us <laughs> endurance races, which I know that's something that, you know, a lot of people have been wanting in the game. They wanted it from the start, you know. But uh, people have to understand that in a game like this, this game is going to be around probably for the length of the PS5. Okay, this game isn't going anywhere anytime soon. This game is in it for the long run. So they have to have things that they're going to add to the game later on. They can't just add everything to the game in the beginning. All right. So, you know, they're going to increase the rewards. They're going to add an addition of high rewards for clearing the circuit experiences. Increase rewards for online races. Literally everything that I've been hearing people whine and cry and complain about for the last week is in here that they're going to fix. Okay. They're even going to add, you know, the feature so we could sell cars, which granted, they did kind of say that in the beginning that you could sell cars. Well, it's going to happen. So they're going to fix everything everybody's complaining about. But guess what? It's not enough. It's not enough. It's just not enough. And it's never enough. And I am so sick and tired of these gaming communities and gamers in general that are just whiny, sniveling, entitled brats that think that everything has to be catered to them, it has to be changed and catered to what they want. Okay? They're fixing everything that everybody had a problem with. Yet when you go online and you go to their, their Twitter page and you see this update, there's nothing but negativity in the comments. You know, there's people saying, nope, the game's trash, it's done, it's over, the game's, the game's over. The game's been out for what, two, three weeks? The game ain't over. What are you talking about? They're fixing the game and you're still not happy. What do you want? What do you want? I'll, I'll tell you what. All the people that, that are complaining and they want games tailored to them, do me a favor. Go to college, figure out how to make a game, and make your own game. Make your own game that is completely suited to everything you want, okay? Because literally, it's getting so... Gaming communities online are just the most toxic places you ever want to, you ever want to be. Um, I, I just don't understand it. These games are meant to be enjoyed. They're meant to have fun with. Okay, if you're not having fun with the game, don't play the game. Simple. That's as easy as that. Okay, I just don't understand how it is that they're coming out and saying they're going to fix everything that everybody's crying about, and it's still not good enough. People still aren't happy. What do you want? I'll tell you what. What these people want, they want a game where they just have everything given to them immediately. Okay, so if you want to play that kind of game, I would suggest you play ACC. ACC is a great racing game. You don't have to buy cars. You can choose whatever car you want, and you can get on the track, and you can race it. This game is about collecting cars, okay? If you don't want to put the time in, or if you don't have the time to put in, then this game just isn't for you, okay? They don't have to change the game to cater to everybody. If the game isn't for you, just move on. I'm sorry that you spent $100 on this game and now all of a sudden you just can't enjoy it. What's there to not enjoy? What do you don't like? Does the racing suck? No. The racing's great. The cars handle great. Okay, this is probably the best Gran Turismo game made overall yet. Okay? I'm not going to say this is the best recent game on console. Um... For physics and handling and stuff like that, I still think ACC is better. This is such a step in the right direction. For a game like this to take the step that they made to actually have this more on the sim side and less on the arcade side is huge. Okay, so the game is fun. The graphics are gorgeous. The car models are fantastic. The handling and the physics are so much better than they ever used to be. So I have to question, 
The people that are still crying and complaining, do you even like racing games? Maybe you just don't like racing games. Maybe you don't like games like this where you have to grind and, and collect things and, and race and collect things. Because what I'm seeing right here is that within the next update, they're going to pretty much fix everything that people were complaining about, and yet people still aren't happy about it. You know, they're just not happy about it. And it's so frustrating to be there and, and read the comments and try to be a part of a community at all anymore these days when it's just nothing but negativity. You know, no matter what these game developers do, you're not going to please everybody. And it's just, it just gets to be overwhelming. Now look it, if you know anything about my channel, you'll know that I do not uh, I don't blow smoke up developers' asses, okay? I'm going to be honest with you. I, I don't do that. If a developer's in the wrong, I'll call them out. I will make a video on it, and I'll say that this isn't, this isn't right. But God damn it. If a developer is trying to fix what they messed up, I'm going to give them credit where credit's due, okay? And this whole nonsense where, you know, people just think that these developers, you know, they don't care, and they're just out for money, Obviously, they're out for money. They want to make money. That's the business they're in. That's every business. If you think any business out there cares about you more than they care about your money, then you are very delusional and you need to just educate yourself about how business and economy works, okay? Your money is the most important thing to anything you buy, to any company that makes any product that you buy. Your money is more important than you, okay? If you're not happy with the uh, the product and it's affecting their sales, they will change the product or they will tweak it because they're losing money on it, okay? Same thing with these games. So many people in the community weren't happy with what they did and they know that that's, that's gonna hurt them in the long run, so they need to rectify that. That's business, and it's totally fine. And it doesn't mean that they don't care about what you think, because obviously they do, because they're fixing it, okay? They're fixing it right now. I just don't understand how it is that they're fixing the game, they're fixing what they screwed up, and people still are just not happy about it. I just don't understand. It's just the entitlement and, and the ignorance in gaming communities is just so overwhelming, and, you know... There's so many things going on in the world right now. And if literally your thing that's keeping you awake at night is that you raced a race in Gran Turismo and earned 10,000 credits less, then my God, God bless you for having just a, a blessed life. So let's go into the world map. But like I said, this isn't going to be a popular video and I really don't care. I really don't. So as you can see, I have over a million credits now. If you want to get those, you go in the garage. And I already claimed them, so I can't really show you. But once you get in the garage, you go under gifts, and it'll be under here. So <laughs> that's like the end of my rant. That's all I really had to say about it. I just had to uh, get that off my chest. Like I said, I went on Twitter first thing this morning. I seen the update, and I read it, and I was like, wow. That's awesome. That, that's great. They fixed the game. Everybody should be happy. And yet, you go into the comment section, and people are still just pissed off and salty and just not happy for absolutely no reason. So, I don't, I don't know. I'm just, it's just something that you get sick of seeing so much. I mean, you know, you can't go online at all these days without just seeing people that are pissy and hateful and can't enjoy anything. They just refuse. They refuse to enjoy anything, you know? And I just, I don't think that the game was ever in that bad of a situation that people can't enjoy the game. All right, guys, so that's all I had to say on the topic. I hope you're having a great day, and uh, we'll see you next time.